Young J. What's up, guys? Welcome back. My name is Sean, and today we're going to be reacting to God 7s No Jam, Hey, and Mayday. So, guys, it's been some time since our last God 7 reactions, but uh, my exams are done, so I expect some more. Uh, expect us getting a bit more back on track, at least until uh, the next exam. So now we have uh, God 7s No Jam, Hey, and Mayday, also from uh, the Hard Carry. Or well, it's not called the Hard Carry. It's the uh, it's the um it's the Turbulence, the Flight Lock Turbulence album, and, and I'm excited for. Uh, for some more of these uh these b-sides so uh, let's just get right into the first one no jam all right got sevens no jam I, I believe that in korean no jam is someone who isn't funny am, am i right about that but uh, let's go see if what this is about all right okay <clears throat> Oh, this is like. Yeah, this is like like before 2010, like like two, the 2000s music. That's the instrumentals. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I like that. Do, do, do. Okay, I like that. What's that? The synth that. Oh, okay. Inter Interesting chorus. It's actually having like if it's a chorus, having it feels like a chorus, having a rap as a chorus. That's nice. Oh, maybe this is the chorus. So it's like a pre-chorus, uh, a big pre-chorus rap. That's nice. Yeah, so a party without you is no fun. So it's like no jam. I I get it. Okay. JB, who does the who does the albums? That was so funny. Is Bam Bam I think? Sounded like him. Hmm. So, see, another like, it's an interesting build to have like a verse and then as a singing verse, then a pre chorus rap, and then a singing chorus. That's nice. This is like a full on verse as a pre chorus. Hey, hey, hey. Mm. Bam, bam, boom. Bam, bam, boom. Okay, oh, I like this rap from Jackson. The, oh, the pace. Okay, l listen, the pace for this is amazing. Okay, the marriage and Spider Man, I like that. Oh, like that's that's what such a nice pace that Jackson had going on. Hmm, Gino? So that's a, what's this? Is like a, a a a a dance break? Could you just imagine like Yugim in in the middle of Mark? But wait, wait, yeah, Mark was a dancer, right? Mm. Down. Boom. Okay. Like the instrumentals are great. Like okay, so so got some snow jump. This is like like I said, it's more of a more of a some it feels like something from in between like two two thousand and, and two thousand ten. It feels like a bit of an older uh pop hip hop song. It was 
it was super super good i love the instrumentals this is this is like the kind of music that that i grew up uh grew up on maybe like, like early early 2000s right like oh that it's so so good it's uh, it's just the the instrumental and everything and then the i love the whole the way it was spilled i love the song how the song was built it was super unique having the uh like in each verse having both a singing part and a rapping part and then into the chorus i, I think that that's pretty unique and then also made that the made the raps um they, just a thing in general you got seven do a lot is having these very long raps for each of the three uh rapping members um which i always think is super nice because they they get to show off uh their skills in each song uh but let's move on to hey all right got sevens Hey, uh, let's go. I have no it, and I mean, hey is already translated, so hey means hey. Oh, that's interesting. That I like, that like, uh, I don't know what instrument that was, probably a voice effect. <laughs> okay. So it's like, hey, kind of a broken heart song. Like, like, okay. You like this girl, but she likes someone else. Oh, okay. I'm so mad at you. Ooh. Hey! Okay, I like that. Ooh, I love the powerful haze at the beginning of the sentence. Sentences. Oh, okay, so the verse was kind of speaking to the girl, and then the chorus is kind of speaking to uh, to the guy. I like that. So what do you like at the beginning? What did what did, what do you see good about him? And then hey, you, I'll steal your girl. Okay, what it say away, you man. Oh, who's this effect? Fake love fan club. So it kind of yeah, so it kind of turned towards the, the, the guy instead of the girl, which is interesting. Because it started off with with speaking directly to her. Young Jay. Mm. Love that, like, <laughs> I love the old be anxious. You better be anxious, cuz, cuz I'm a stealer. If you don't be careful, I'm coming for him. Oh wow. So it's like, see, again, it's kind of directed towards her instead. Again. That whole ordeal right here is amazing. Oh, I kind of like, I love how it kind of brought it back with a bit of a pause and then it's a hey again. That's nice. Hey! Sorry if that was a bit too loud, but I just like this whole idea. Like basically screaming into the uh, into the verse. Okay, damn. Okay, so that was <clears throat> that was Scott Simmons. Hey, I don't. We we didn't get that much like uh, that much rap uh, throughout this one. Uh, um, at, at least as far as uh, I remember, we got like uh, Jackson's um, like with the special effect. We had a bit like yeah. Oh, the I'm I'm so mad at you part as well. Yeah, was, is that in Hey? Yeah, I think yeah, that was. 
It was the I'm so mad at you. So so what an amazing song. Another another amazing song. I love the idea of um like this, I guess, unique or unorthodox idea for for i guess love songs uh, of them to speaking to both of them so this you you like this girl she's got, gotten together with another person and this song speaks to both of the people so it, it starts at the beginning starts to kind of reason with the girl then it starts to kind of um reason with the guy then it starts to kind of, kind of threaten the guy and all that kind of it's kind of reminds me it probably doesn't follow it completely but there are those like stages of of grief right there's maybe the those kind of play into this i, I feel like like the whole denial thing and then the aggression thing thing and everything I feel like that kind of plays into this uh into this uh music video and not the music video, into the into the lyrics of this uh song very very good song i love the whole hey part uh, beginning uh the verses that was so so good and just in general the vocals really really shone in uh in in this um in this music uh, in this song but uh, yeah let's move on to the last one mayday all right got sevens uh mayday let's uh go <clears throat> Okay. And save me. Mark's very deep voice. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like something I've never heard before. Like, I've, I've never heard anything like this. Oh, okay, it's beginning to pick up. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a nice drop. The intro. Oh, wow. Oh, this is like this is like like full on full on techno sounds we're getting. Oh, and the pit. Oh, I like that little. Oh, okay, this song is like all over the place, but it's so good. Oh wow. It's interesting how how slow it is in the verses in compared to how fast paced it is. Oh, I love oh Batman's little, little uh, transition onto Yugen was good right there. Like the small pace pickup. And, it, and like the drops are actually good, like really good. Oh, like oh this part, like the second part of the chorus is so good. When the like when the when the beat really comes in. Oh, is this like the bridge? There was a bit of a change up. Okay, I mean, wow. This this song really fits in well with the whole concept as well of uh, of turbulence. Like the whole like listen to this, you see him singing into you. It really makes sense with the whole Jin Young in turbulence. I believe it was in turbulence. He, he began to like drown and stuff. Where, like the whole story was that that the car kind of drove over the bridge or something, and and uh, Jin Young was the only one who survived or something, right? Oh, and some of the parts just do, some of these parts are just made to uh, to be like to be like dance breaks or to be performed, right? Save me to end it off with okay, that was nice. God, seven's many. That this speed was crazy. It was as he said, it was all over the place, but 
it kind of knew where to go, right? It started off with this really slow. I was actually not right when I began it. I was really not sure what to expect, and then you you kind of started to get the um the pick up, uh, and and you I, I, I myself was kind of like uh, I, I was thinking, okay, th this sounds like. Uh, it's really it has a really good build up, but I'm I'm afraid that it won't have like a good uh, drop because sometimes songs just have a really good uh, build up but not a good drop. And, and and I was expecting honestly to not have a good drop, but the drop was really really good. I really really liked this whole full on. It, it felt like a full on techno song, except there was like singing. <laughs> so it's an amazing song it, it, again, something uh, unique uh, from God Seven. I feel like these uh, three songs have been really really uh, unique. Uh, well, at least at least Hey and Mayday have been really uh, something else. And it's got seven. I love the way they do things. I love this whole, this whole concept they're doing. Mayday fits it so well. The whole flight log uh, turbulence, the whole drowning, uh, Jin Young drowning, being stuck in the water. Help! I'm, I'm stuck in. Obviously, this was a bit more like stuck in in a person, but like stuck stuck to a person. But the, the concept is there, right? Yeah, guys, that was Scott Simmons, No Jam, Hey and Mayday. Three amazing B-sides from uh, from Turbulence. I love how, like, the first two, No Jam and Hey, they kind of uh, showcased a, a really good part of uh, God 7 each. Like, No Jam had really, really uh, good raps for both um, Bam Bam Mark and Jackson. They were really long, and they were s situated very, uh, very differently uh, in the within the song, uh, which was super, super cool. Then Hey kind of began to show off a lot of vocals because there they were a lot of, like, straight Training powerful vocals uh, throughout the song and and not as much um, rapping. Then Mayday gets gets into this full on like like concept thing. They they really really brought and it even makes sense with Mayday the, the plane crashing like Mayday Mayday we we we're crashing uh, we're going down. Is that what what it is that how, how it's said in the is like Mayday Mayday we're going down. I think um, so it made a lot of sense with the whole uh, name of the song and the whole concept of the song and the lyrics of the of the song which was super cool and yeah as I said made a lot of sense with uh, with the album but yeah anyways guys please let me know what you guys thought about God 7's No Jam Hey and Mayday by the way check out uh, Isarang Edge Subs which is the uh, channel I watch these uh, lyric videos on uh, and uh, as I said let me know down in the comments what you uh, thought about these three songs and I guess I'll see you guys next time <laughs>